Hey y'all, I really just came on to say happy Sunday and then I hope you guys are enjoying um, today. I uh, can't say I've been having the greatest day today. Um, got into it probably 20 minutes ago with um, my ex, if you will, ex-boyfriend. Uh, I'll put it like this without making this just just ridiculously long video um i sometimes hurt because being a product of divorced parents your father is always supposed to be the first example of uh who you look up to or what you will look for in a man and you either marry someone just like your dad or you marry someone the complete opposite of your dad. And for me, <clears throat> it seems as if I have always dealt with people, well, men who are similar to my dad, which would be arrogant, all about self, um, but the life of the party, good time, um, and very much, um, whores. <laughs> and it is a struggle and an internal battle for me knowing what is good for me and knowing what I shouldn't. deal with yet always falling for the same types and it's so sad because i mean cognitively cognitively i'm aware of it um i dealt with one ex for 10 years um this was a high school sweetheart and everything this is the person who i would have thought would have been my everything my um you couldn't tell me that we weren't going to be married with a, a big boatload of kids and living happily after ever after but <laughs> the facade in the beginning of who he was um it broke <laughs> and it broke in a mighty big way and sure enough, he turned into the same kind of man that um, my father was to my mother and that he then became to me. And so um, I dealt with that, got over that, and dated. Um, and here recently, started dating again and fell into the same shit, like... This guy is, for all intents and purposes, he, and he is a go-getter, entrepreneur to the max. He is about his business. He is going to always be successful in life. However, he is the type that, as I, as respectfully as possible, tell him, you know everything and don't know a fucking thing. Um, initially when I met him, I told him and I told every other people, I believe I met my husband and I felt that because there was things about him that made me change who I was and want to be like, I felt like I needed to protect him. There were things that I wanted to do for him that I never would want to do for any other previous, like, guys I've dated. 
I want to fix his plate. I wanted to cook him uh, dinner all the time. I wanted to be the yin to his yang. Like, I really... I, I don't know if it was... I don't know if it was maybe perhaps how he carried himself. And if that's just like... That's what he exuded. So that's what made me like gravitate. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. All I know is he is underneath it all and underneath him being this great entrepreneur, being someone who is going to always have, to me, mass amounts of success. He is also very broken inside. I am dealing with a man who was diagnosed with uh, acute myeloid leukemia and decides when he'll take medication and when he won't. Um, mind you, this man has children. Um, he cares nothing about, at this point, a medication regimen, a healthier lifestyle. He just, this is a man who just told me um, I live until I die. 35 years old. And all it would take is for him to have to take one pill for the rest of his life to manage and keep it under wraps unless he was to get a um, bone marrow transplant. But is making the choice to not... um not take his medication and to me that's so reckless to me it's so selfish and it just is like i don't know i ain't about to do this and start crying on no damn youtube um It was only even supposed to be a short video, and I got to talking to y'all. Y'all know y'all my family, so I get to coming on here and letting you know what I'm going through. But I'm I'm dealing with a lot in it with this relationship mess, and like I was, it, it's just deeper than that. I'll t I'll tell you guys more in, in following videos to come, but um, it's deep. Would you all stay with a man who has a disease that can be treated with the, you know, long term can be dealt with and managed with medication, but if not willing to take the medication can be a fatal disease and quickly. What would you guys do with a person who decided to um, not go forward with taking just a damn pill? Would you stay? Would you go? How do you cope? How do you deal with it? Talk to me. Good night, y'all. Listen, do great things for yourself and for others, okay?